Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dan and welcome to Low Country Fishing. So you guys, we are running offshore today. I got an invite to jump on my buddy's 30 foot sea hunt game fish and we're going to make a run out to about 100 feet of water. Now, it's been a while since I've been out that far and I'm pretty excited to see what we can pull up. So let's get started. So here's what we got, just a little double dropper, uh, kind of a chicken rig. These little circle hooks here are about four rots in size. I'm just hooking on some squid here. Nothing fancy right now. I do have some other fancy jig heads here. I'm excited to show you guys in just a second. But uh, for now, we're gonna throw this down. We're gonna see if we can get into uh, some vermilion snapper or some bee liners that are down there. I got basically an eight ounce egg sinker down here on the bottom and right above that is rig number one, rig number two. And I just got it clipped in right there. This liter weight here is probably about 60 pounds, something about there. So there we are, We're, the bait's coming back in. The live bottom is down there, some corals or whatnot. We're sitting in 111 feet of water, which is a lot of, well, a lot of water depth. We're gonna drop this guy all the way down and it shouldn't take long. It seems like the, uh, the vermilions were sitting about five or six feet off the bottom. So I'm gonna let this thing hit the bottom, give the reel a crank or two and see if we can start catching some uh, edible fish. Okay, there's a the bottom. One, two, man, doesn't take long. Okay, so that was a reef I was in. I already got one. Do you see the rod tip bouncing? That's one, so I'm waiting for the second. There we go. There's a good fish. I think I got an AJ. <laughs> or, or somebody grabbed my bait. Oh, hold on, baby. Yeah, that's a good one. I was waiting on the other uh, the other hook to double up, Got it. and then it's double up, and then it screamed. Oh yeah. Mark this spot. They were there. Oh, they're there. Come on. Um, do me a favor. Grab that. Never mind. She's coming around, coming around. Oh, I wonder if she dropped it or maybe she gave up. Uh, it might be a red. Red stop halfway up. Oh, I lost the big one. Or did she give up? No. Huh? <laughs> I got sharked. Dang. Oh, That's what happened. Oh, man. Look at the eight to back. We just caught a big eye snapper. Whew. Well, I had a good, I had a good AJ going. <laughs> yeah, I got sharked. Yep. All right, so 112 feet. Here's the bottom. Big fish are marking about 90 feet, so roughly 20, 22 feet or so. I need to come off once this hits bottom. Now with this pin battle three six thousand, every crank is about three feet, so I'll give her about. One, two, three, four, five, six, right around six feet there. Drop a little bit back out, and then I'll just vertically jig. See if we can slide back to her. 
is pretty much in between us and the, the foot rail boat. The, these guys are actually out here uh, buddy boating with us today. If you see them out in the corner of the screen, it's not that we're trying to steal their spot. We're trying to just fish together, stay out here as a team. It's a good idea if you're out here this far offshore to come out here with a, another buddy boat. Safety in numbers. There's one. There's one. That's what I was looking for. That's a big one. We've been hitting junk fish after junk fish waiting on these bee liners or vermilion snappers. They've been a little higher in the water column. Yeah, the guys next to us have been pulling them up left and right. And we finally got him. Yep. That's a good one. <laughs> we go, we, we're both living in. Hey, that's a stud. That's how big y'all are catching them too? That is a big, fatty, thick girl there. Well, he's in there. He's in there deep. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I am. I'm groupered up in that hole, boys. Not yet. Let me. I'll go uh, up past him if you want me to. Try to get a different angle. Yeah, we can do that. I'll, I'll give him a little slack. See if he'll swim out. Oh, I'm groupered. Yeah, yeah, that's a grouper that's got me. Yeah, he grabbed he grabbed me and ran into that hole. He grabbed my bait and ran into the hole. Yeah, see, he's pulling right there. Look, see? Yeah. He's there. Oh. He came out. Came out. He came out. Oh, there we go. Come on. Someone grab the net. It's not feeling as heavy now. Maybe he, I think he just let everything go. Woo! Too long? Oh, it's coming up easy now. I think he just, I think he let it go. I think I do have one on here. Yeah, oh. oh, man, you know. Yeah, that was a big, that was a big grouper that had the other one, man. Woo, you talk about wear you out fast. What'd you see, buddy? <laughs>so the game plan right now is just to try to pitch some artificials over here on this uh, navy tower as well as soak some live baits and see if we can get a big bite really hoping to get on a really big aj or uh one of these guys kind of do the same as well as catch them on an artificial bait i got something very secret to show you guys uh very excited about it and uh hopefully if we can get one to bite i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about so let's get going there we go there's a fish there we go baby got him with a right jig baby
Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Looks like an AJ or a lesser. We got her. There she goes. Now lift it up. Woo! Is that a little AJ? Yeah, AJ or a lesser. I'll take it. Thanks, brother. Thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Got him on the right jig. I'm excited to show you guys what I just caught that fish on too. Get her, get her pulled up here. All right, there we go, boys. Looks like a lesser AJ and check out that lure. It's probably the first time that you guys have seen that. I'll get her unhooked here and show you this fish, but what a gorgeous fish. Very first cast out here on that big old Navy tower there. So this is the brand new iStrike Diesel Eye. This is a really heavy duty hook. This is brand new to their iStrike lineup. Uh, this is going to appeal to uh, guys that are looking for, you know, stuff like we're doing out here today, fishing out in open water or deep water. Now this thing right here is a three ounce weight. They come in various weights and uh, 6 -0 and 8 hook sizes. The specific one I'm fishing with today is a three ounce weight with an 8 hook. And I do have it paired up with a uh, seven inch Z-Man diesel minnow in that uh, bad shad color. And this thing right here is uh, extremely lifelike. It's a great looking jig head. It's got a really, really big eye that Eye Strike is known for. And I tell you, man, one cast out there and it got that AJ really, really quick. So I'm gonna continue to throw this guy around and see how many more of these uh, fish we can hook by tricking them with a piece of plastic. Just use one finger. So just, just your index. Yep, there you go. There you go. See how much further it went one finger? Yep, let it take a little line out and you can just close the bell and just give, give it some rod pops every now and then. Oh, they're following it up. Oh, look, they're right here. Look. I think they're gonna want it fast. They're watching it, but they're not committing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the artificials doing it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, you got a good one. Oh, I'm on too. We just doubled up, boys. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I got the barracuda. Woo. Woo, John, you want to boat this barracuda or no? Do you want to boat this guy? No. Okay, you got uh, you got you got something I can get rid of him then. Okay, I, I got to keep that lure though. Got it. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, man. Nice one. Yeah. All right, guys. Barracuda approved. He lost his bait. Oh, he took it. Yeah. You got bit. Okay, I got more. I brought I brought a bunch. All right, so I'm just going to rig this up real quick. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it, but I'm just going to do an improved clinch knot right here. Cinch it down. I will leave a tag line there. They, they're not going to mind. And now with this bait, we'll just get an idea where it's going to exit. Somewhere about here, mid fin. Get a nice firm grip. It's a big old chunky bait. Come right out. Get a little pull. There we go. They're right here. They're right here. Oh, I'm on. That's another one. Those are big barracuda there. You don't want them. Oh, come on up. <laughs> this is a pin battle three 6,000 combo I'm fishing with here. It's just this vertical jigging rod. <laughs> and it's getting worked right now. All right, there we go. I think I broke her will. There we go. There we go. Another AJ. Yeah, they're stacked right below the boat, guys. There you go. They like the shiny. There 
we go. It ain't my Jack Craval, <laughs> but that's a good one. Yeah, he's going to run right back. Was that a live bait? Yep. Nice. Take it. Dead hair to hold him. <laughs> come down, come down. There you go. There you go. There we go. Little father-son tag team. There you go. Real down tight. There you go. Here's a big AJ. Big AJ. It's more important to keep it tight. Is it a there you go. Barracuda? No. No, it's, a, it's an AJ. Big one. All right, real down. Down, down, down. I'm not, I'm not gapping him. Yep. Right there, that's tight enough. Oh, he just got there. You got a, you got a glove, just, just John? Oh, you gonna net him? Hold okay. it till he gets down there with that. There you go. Now we got it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hold that one up, buddy. <laughs> Watch the trouble, huh? There we go. Man, that one. That All right. That one tiny little hook, right, man. Hit him over that edge. Over. Hold him Boom. straight. There you go. <laughs> that fish is as big as you, bro. Good job. <laughs> nice, man. Okay. Yep. So we'll try to oh. torpedo him in. So you know what that means? So you're just going to throw him in like a missile going into the water. Right, so undo switch. that. Yep. You can hold him out of sail if you want or just drop him straight in. Just try to let him go head first. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I am back on land, and man, what a good day it was out there offshore. A couple hour ride out there to get to the 50, 60 mile mark, somewhere around in there. And uh, man, it did not disappoint. Big AJs, lots of vermilion snapper caught. Uh, got to see a bunch of cool flying fish and dolphins, and man, there were so many cool things that go on out there that you just can't get the camera on uh, fast enough before it's gone. But uh, Captain John, thank you so much for inviting me out on your 30 foot game fish. I now know what my next boat <laughs> will be if I can ever uh, scrounge together that much pocket change. Uh, but listen, for those of you that are in Savannah or visiting Savannah, if you guys are interested in booking a trip with Captain John Bat, uh, you guys, he goes out and he does all kinds of sunset cruises and whatnot. So if you're interested in getting out and seeing some of the beautiful coastal life that I show you guys here weekly on Low Country Fishing, definitely look him up. I'll actually put his information in the description of the video down below. So that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for riding along and I'll see you next week. Take care everyone and God bless.